Hi guys, Vicky here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the DIY jar of love. So this is part of my Valentine's Day videos. And so in this video, in the beginning, I'm going to be showing you what you'll need. And so let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need a jar with the lid, a ribbon or two if you choose to, some tape, preferably double-sided, stickers, stickers with hearts, and I got two sets of each, just because I found it helpful in case I ran out of something. A Sharpie, and some different colored paper. Um, I find it looks prettier in the jar if you have different colored paper. Um, it just looks more festive towards the holiday. So I would definitely choose a pencil over the pen that I have, just because when I'm tracing things, I find it better to use the pencil. And so at this point, we are cutting the construction paper or the paper in long strips. And I don't look like I cut that great. Fantastic. Not a professional cutter here, guys. So when you're done cutting the paper, at that point, you're going to gather them all up just because I find it easier. And I'm going to cut them right in half. And this is going to be for you writing your little messages and um, inside of the jar. So right now I'm just cutting them in half. So at this point I decide, hey, you know what? Let's grab a chunk and cut in half. So right now I'm just gonna be writing my little message and I'll show you a sample. So I'm just putting I love you with a heart. And so at this point you're gonna fold that in half and fold it in half again. And so that way the person you give this to can go inside and open each little message and read what you have to put. Sample number two. Fold it in half and fold it in half again. So I actually have some preset on the side that I already taken care of, so I'm just cleaning my workspace. And I'm going to be showing you the ones I have. So they're different colors, and um, I just wrote my little message inside. I would definitely take some time for this because it takes a little while. So right now I'm just going to put them in the jar. It's a nice clean jar. To remove the label, I would stick it in a sink full of hot to warm water and just let it soak there for a while until the label peels off. That's definitely helpful. And so now at this point, I will never make it in a basketball team because I clearly cannot make it in one. So now I'm just going to be cutting the frayed ends of the ribbon off. And I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to seal the edges of the ribbon so that they don't mess up over time. And so I didn't really seal it on the end so I'm gonna go back there twice I don't know if you guys can see now just be careful when you're going back in with the ribbon because if you stay on one part too long it'll definitely melt the piece and it doesn't look too pretty when it does that so I'm just going in the second time and it's finally sealed and you don't want to touch it on the top because it would burn so I'm gonna fold it in half and you want to pinch the end where you fold it in half just so you can see the crease. And that's where you're going to add either your double-sided tape, or if you don't have that, just use this piece of tape, roll it up, and put it in that little section. You're just going to tape it right wherever you made that crease. And that's why you see me uh, put the tape down and pinch it closed. And that is where the crease is at. So I'm just putting that on there. I'm going to wrap it at the back of the jar so that my ribbon will have the bow in front. So I'm pretty awful at making bows, but I may do here. So now at this point, I'm going to grab my tape again, and I'm going to grab another piece, and at this point, I'm going to be putting the tape underneath the front part of the bow, and this is just to keep it still so that it doesn't move up and down. And I'm having some problems here. My fingers are too chunky to get under that bow. So I'm just going to make it look nice and pretty and still, and that's what it looks like. So double-sided tape for sure. I don't know if you guys could see that bump in the back. Wasn't too cute, but hey, I'm working with what I got. But definitely if you guys want to do this, I would suggest double-sided tape. It's your best friend. So now I'm just taking my glittery pink stickers, and I'm going to be putting I Love You on the jar. You can put whatever you want. It's totally your preference. Um, you just can be creative with whatever. I'm just doing this for my boyfriend, so of course I love him. So I'm just going to be putting it all over. If you want to do this for your best friend, you can put whatever. I love you. You're my best friend. BFFs for life. On and on and on. So these parts will be speeded up because I feel like they're not necessary. 
because we all know how to put a sticker on, hopefully. If you don't, I'm sorry I offended you. So I'm just getting it in there, and I don't think they'll be too upset if the letters aren't exactly in place. And there it is. So I'm just getting my hearts open. And obviously I didn't know how to cut it once, and then I'm going to struggle with it a second time. There are my hearts. These were super hard to find if you would, like, go in the regular place for the stickers. They were actually in the seasonal section at Walmart, and these were all... All of these stickers were a dollar, and the ribbon, the two ribbons that I have, actually cost me 55 cents together. I got a yard of each. So now I'm just randomly putting stickers on, and at this point I'm going to take my piece of construction paper, and you can write a message yourself. Um, I'm writing a message here. I'm going to do two that you guys can see, um, whichever one is your preference. I made a bigger one and then I made a heart shaped one. So this one I'm actually going to cut out. So if you are younger and you don't know how to use scissors, please ask your parents for permission. I'm assuming the people that are watching this are a little bit older and hopefully can handle scissors. So now I'm just scalloping the edges. I thought it would be a cute touch to this. Um, I'm not super great with the scissors, but I'm doing the best I can. I think they taught us how to scallop in first grade, maybe. Is that too advanced? I have no idea. So now I'm just scalloping the edges and at this point I am finished with this one. I'm just going to clear my workspace and then I'm going to make one more. This one, I'm gonna, I messed up the first heart. I wasn't too fond of it and I definitely wouldn't use the Sharpie for this one. I may ended up throwing this one away because the black line was too harsh and poked through the um, construction paper so I didn't like that. But this is a sample of what not to do. And I was like, nope, let's get a new piece of paper. Let's kill trees, which I did not want to do. Recycling this, guys. I'm recycling this, trust me. So now at this point, I'm just cutting out my heart. And I would suggest a pencil just because it's lighter to the touch. So now I'm cutting it out. Definitely cut this one out better for sure. So I would use the, <clears throat> we're going to put the um, traced side on the, against the jar so that it doesn't show where you made the marks and stuff. So at this point I'm just putting the stickers on it and I put a little heart and then after that I get a piece of tape and roll it up. I'm going to show you two ways that it will look if you choose to do the scalloped edge or you choose to do the heart. I just think the heart is more festive. Um, because it is Valentine's Day, so I'm just going to get a piece of tape. And for the bigger page, I would definitely use more than one piece of tape. That was just a sample that I showed you guys. But either of them looks good. Um, I think the heart one looked good just because I have a ton of hearts all over the place, but the scalloped edged one as well looks pretty cute and takes up a lot of space, which is also good if you have dead space there. So I'm just sticking it on the jar here, and you're going to need your lid now, and you're going to get a piece of paper, and you're just going to trace the top of the lid, not the bottom, because the top of the lid is much smaller. So now you're just going to cut out what you traced, and I ended up changing my mind about this color because I feel it didn't fit completely with the color scheme, so I will be changing this to a lighter pink. And so if you're not happy um, with the shape and it's a little bit over the lip of the jar, you can trim, but trim small pieces off. Don't do it in big chunks because once you go back, once you trim off too much, you can't go back. But if you trim off in little pieces, you know, you can do it gradually and it'll come out better. So there's that piece. So there's my piece of tape. Going to roll it up. And like I said, double-sided tape is much better because it's flat. So I just squished it down and then I'm going to put the lid on top. At this point, you can decorate the lid however you choose to. I'm going to line the edges of the lid with hearts. I thought it came out really cute in the end. It's absolutely adorable. So if you're giving this to your boyfriend or your mom or your best friend or your kitty cat or your puppy, I'm sure they'll love it because it's going to stay forever. I made one for my boyfriend last year. still stays in our house. looks really adorable. It's a very cute piece. So I'm actually doing these almost like a clock if you could see the shape 
and obviously my spacing is not too great in here. I'm just filling it in with letters, putting an F for my boyfriend's name and a V for my name. And then I'm just going to put a little heart in there somewhere at the very end and I'm just going to put it on top of the jar. So here if you want to get the plus sign I just took a number one from the sticker page and I, tipped, I cut off the tips of the one and um, I posted it down and then I cut off the tips of another one and made it into a cross. And I obviously ran out of V letters so I had to go in there borrow one from my other sticker page and that's what it looks like adorable on top of a jar so now at this point I'm just going to be sticking the stickers wherever I please um, if you don't like the prego uh, symbol that's protruding off of the jar definitely try like a mason jar they're much cuter more vintage looking I just like this jar um, because it was bigger which means I could fill it with more things that I had to say um, like I love you or I missed you or whatever um, I thought it looked cuter with a fuller jar so that's totally your preference doesn't mean you love them but I just love my boyfriend so much I had to get a big ginormous spaghetti jar so at this point I just put a heart on the bow the front of the bow and that's what it's looking like I lined the ribbon with my hearts and uh, now I'm just putting hearts wherever I please on that jar Hopefully I'm adding music into this because sometimes I'm very silent and I feel like I work at a phone company and like those phone companies people are so silent you're like cricket, 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 hello, I'm still here guys, still here. So now I'm just putting things on the jar that I like or um, love about my boyfriend and so I like his hugs. Um, I'll be putting a smile on the bottom of the jar because I love his smile. You can just put whatever you like, um, but that's just my preference. I'm just giving you inspiration to work off of. If you guys are interested in knowing about that little uh, love story book that's sitting by the candle in the um, Simply Made Mason Jar jar of love, um, I actually will post in the description box a link to the Brit & Co. website where you can actually download a printable version and print it out for yourself. So in the jar, in the love story, it actually has spaces that you can fill to put in about yourself and your other person, your significant other. And so in there, it's going to ask you like, um, my favorite thing about this person is, and it'll leave a blank for you to fill in. It's really cute. It's adorable. It's like a little foldable pamphlet and you can give it to them um, on Valentine's morning with breakfast or whatever. I gave mine to him early just because he saw it sitting in there so I thought I'd give it on over to him so I hope you guys have a really good Valentine's Day don't forget that I will be posting my uh, foodie video pretty soon like I said I'm gonna try and do it before Friday just so you guys have time if you do the recipe on Valentine's Day so you guys can get the ingredients before and so like I said if you guys do this please please tag me in your videos I'd love to see if you guys did this too and remember be however creative you choose to be I'll see you guys later or I'll let you guys see me later all right guys see you soon bye cricket 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 I'll press play when I'm ready close the door hi guys it's Victoria here damn it <clears throat> Hi guys, it's Victoria. So in this video, as promised, I'm going to be doing a valley. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Good lordy. So in this video, some of the pat. Uh, um, I use different t <sighs> fucking sh Shizaz. Shizzy Fizz. I don't think anybody knows what that is. Because I had to do that twice. Caught up in my finger when I was trying to put it underneath the bow to keep the budge, the bow. And if you have a jar sitting around, all the better. And so you just want to clean out that jar and make sure it's nice and clean before you use it. So you don't want it to smell like spaghetti sauce because that is not sexy. Or whatever, if you like spaghetti, guess you can leave the scent in there or whatnot. Wait. 
So, <coughs> oh, sad. Do not know how to draw a heart. That is the worst heart I have ever seen. Wow. And I don't know how to cut in the lines either. So sad. Um, I know that it's unattractive for it to say Prego, but hey, my boyfriend loves spaghetti and I make it all the time, so I don't think he'll mind too much. Hopefully I'm adding music into this because sometimes I'm very silent and I feel like I work at a phone company and like those phone companies, people are so silent and you're like, cricket, 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 hello. So, um, I hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day, and uh, that cooking video should be coming up soon, so just stay tuned for when I post that. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Love you. Bye.